Florida's southwest waters are a special place for Captain Jonathan Moss. It is here where family vacations and saltwater fishing adventures linked arms to create unforgettable memories, and it all centered around one particular harbor, Charlotte Harbor. This is where we find Captains Jonathan Moss and Ryan Clace, whose memory bank's primary source of currency is silver and gold. And there's only one way to get the money. That's grit, determination, and surviving the hang time. So sit back and see how it all unfolds as we flip through the pages of the Captain's Log. Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products. Brother, I haven't been here since I was a little kid, man. Yeah. It feels so good. All the memories are flooding back and hanging out and fishing on that dock right there, seeing it at that hotel. And just That's neat. Great memories, brother. A lot has changed since you were a, a little bit. Old. I've noticed. <laughs> yeah. the bridges are different. A lot more people here. It's going to be a great day, brother. We've got good weather. Should oh, be, we couldn't have be asked for yeah. prettier. It's absolutely beautiful today. Yep. I like October. We're going to run through Mount Lachey? We're going to run through Mount Lachey and um, go all the way to, to the north first. And hopefully those fish cooperate up there. And if that doesn't happen, we're, we'll work our way back down south. We're going to do like, the big it. loop. I'm not scared. Bert. I think they're a little scared. Yeah. They know we're coming after them today. <laughs> I'm going to do everything I can to catch you a tarpon today. So. Yes, sir. It's going to be a good day, brother. We're going to yeah, have a great time. Fun. Let's get out of here. I'm just going to set up another drift and go towards those boats. This is originally where they were, though. I'm still seeing them every once in a while. I'm just kind of scattered down in here. That's about how it's going to be for us today. Drift, search, you know, they don't seem like they're... No, they're not staying in one spot. No, they're, they're not staying in one spot. There's no big number of them. And there's no reason for them to. The tide's coming in, the bait's getting moved, getting yep. scattered. Yep. And there's not like a big group of them. We got a single here, a single so, there, yeah, so... there's like a fish here and there on every one of these bait schools. So... Just gotta drift through it. We're on, baby. We're on. And just like that, brother, we're we're watching a couple of them roll, but finally got buttoned up. Just drifting. They're so scattered. You just, we just have to drift. Right Absolutely. Now, you know. We had just seen one roll. We're like, man, let's come just move up, over for a minute up front. Work your way up front there. Perfect. Coming back at us. Yep. Good job hustling to the rod. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had the other one with me. It's like, man, I gotta stow this in a rod holder and get back there quick. He's, he's gonna probably freak out right here. The closer they are to the boat, remember, you just gotta point that rod yep, at them. Yep, absolutely. Jump. Come on, fish. Awesome. Good job. Awesome, buddy. Coming around. It was a great bite. Gotta love the rod holder bite. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> rod, he's a great fisherman, brother. <laughs> he's very patient. We are just throwing lures and figured awesome. I'd put a pinfish off the yeah. back. They're so scattered. We haven't really even made too many casts this morning. And finally started to see just a couple fish, you know, eat on the surface and tide's just starting to move for us. Coming up. Gonna jump right there. Yep. yep. Gorgeous. See how dark they are up there? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> well, you can see this water super dark. They got super that dark. gold color in them. They'll match whatever water they're in. Sick. What's funny is he ate it coming at us. You know, the rod just like chirped just a little bit and then it went slack. 
I didn't even know if we had one. And he started jumping with it completely loose and the hook just We We knew pretty it. quick. <laughs> we knew pretty quick. It came tight and that fish got airborne yep. fast. We are both up here letting Ronnie do all the work in the back. This is the part of the fight where they don't like to jump anymore. We'll stay down for a little while. And this fish's got some, we're like 15 feet of water. Yeah. It's got room to swim down. Yeah, he's got a little room to work with. Not like the ones back home in the flats where they just run. And they'll just go straight down, yeah. Fight them just how you want to fight them. Whenever they're going left, you kind of pull to the right on them. Pull down his back, going right, try to pull left. Nice. Water's so dark, he's right can't there, you see can't him. see him, you know? Yeah. Whenever you're fighting a, a fish, you know, and if he goes underneath the boat, you want to make sure the rod goes down. In the water, water. don't, don't let that, up high. yeah, I don't want that line yeah. to hit the bottom yep. of the boat. And a little trick with tarpon, because they're so strong and a lot of times your drag's really tight. If you get pinned on the gunnel and he goes around, you know what I mean? He yep. goes underneath the boat. If you just loosen your drag a little bit, it can you Still got the tension. Mm -hmm. Look at that fish. Want to grab that leader? Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get it a little closer to me. So, man, you got long arms. You reach over there and make this a caught fish. You got the leader in the rod tip. That counts, right? You did. for something. Leader touch. Caught there fish, there baby. You go. Well done, brother. Good well job. done. Oh, brother. She's so a, close. Got a little gulp right there. She's close. Just careful. It might surge underneath the boat. Just be ready for it. Gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should be more gorgeous, but she's got your hands in her mouth. We're already on to the next bite, aren't we? <laughs> Never happy with the one on the hook. Ooh. Look at that, my friend. Got him. Woo. There you go. Good job, buddy. Yes, sir. Good job. You did the hard part, brother. You got us on him. Yeah, not a lot of fish around so far today. We haven't seen hardly anything, so. Look at that fish. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Look at that fish, man. Gorgeous. Absolutely. What do you think? Oh, man. Oh, she's ready. Go. She's ready. Slider tail. Hey. Oh, Good job. Dude, that was awesome. Good job. All right, you're up, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that was enough for a while? Yeah, man. No, I don't want to catch them all today. You know, I want to be that guy. I want you to catch a few. <laughs> Good job fighting them. Heck yeah. Congrats. Thank you. All right. Let's go see if we catch another one. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products, is brought to you by Florida Fishing Products, Icon Coolers, Danko Pliers, East Cape Boats, Temple Fork Outfitters, Skinny Water Culture, Skinoo, Power Pole, DOA Lures, and go cast away fishing charters. Eat it, man. Eat it. You got it. Oh, I saw him eat it. Come on. Come back and take it. I'm trying to eat it. He's still trying to go for it. He got it. He got it. Come tight, brother. Yeah, man. Atta boy, Ryan, atta boy. <laughs> Watched him come up and swipe at it. Yeah. We saw him once where yeah. he either rolled on it or he swiped at it completely missed. Oh, Spun around and came back and hit it again. Missed it the second time and then the third time he slurped it and there it went. Oh, brother, I love when they jump. Love it. Putting on a show. That's the best part. Best fish that swims. The only reason I guide for a living is because of Love them. And it doesn't matter the size. Like, how can you yeah. not like that? And it doesn't matter the size. I spend most of my time uh, on the tarpon I'm chasing are smaller ones, the yeah. juveniles. 15, 
or even smaller. Some of the back creeks in the Indian River, man, you'll get little bitty ones. Let me grab this rod out of the way. And catching those guys on a six weight, absolute blast. Throwing a 1,000 on them, absolute blast. We have that change here too, a lot of small fish. We find them late summer into the fall after we have a lot of rain for a while. Rainy season's kind of halfway through and then over with, and then we have a lot of rain in the water. A lot of those little tiny tarpon will come out of the rivers. And, and they're the so bay. much fun, dude. They'll get they're the bay, so yeah. much fun. Nice, dude. Nice. Nice. She's coming up now. Nice. Deciding to jump a little bit more now. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're in them, bro. We're in them thick. They're definitely shifting that you direction. Can, if you can hurry up and land your fish so we can move <laughs> the boat that way where we see them rolling. <laughs> <laughs> What'd I say this morning? Never have me with the one on the hook. <laughs> That's that thump where it's shifting, going over, shifting, shifting overhead. Or wearing down. I, think I, I don't know yet. I was trying to get that later touch for her. She didn't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> Nice work, brother. That, my friend, is a beautiful tarpon. Well done, dude. What do you think? Oh, it's awesome. Oh, they're so Look beautiful. Look at that eye in the dark yeah. water. Isn't that cool? Their eyes are beautiful, the scales, the colors. The iridescence coming off, man. That gold for me in this darker water. The silver, the purples. I mean, brother, just doesn't get any better. Wouldn't go anywhere either. Look yeah. at that. Hooked perfectly. Yep. With that current coming through. Yeah, we can stay right here. Yeah, and it'll go yeah. right through her. Yeah. Awesome. Great job. Roll her over. Right here. <laughs> Perfect way Good job. to I send her great. off. Yeah, man. Yep. <laughs> great job. Hey. Love it, brother. Love it, man. Oh. Two for two, brother. One for you, one for me. Today's Tackle Box Tip with Captain Jonathan Moss. I love sight fishing. It doesn't get any more exciting when you see that fish and you present to them, whether that be a live bait, a fly, a lure, seeing that fish react to your presentation, oh, it doesn't get any better than that. But when you're sight fishing, you need to implement two things that's gonna help you be successful to catch that fish. Number one, you need to know what direction is the fish facing. You have to present to that fish in front of the fish. They have to see it. You can't throw it at their tail. They're not gonna spin around it and eat it. Nine times out of 10, that's not gonna happen. So it has to be in front of that fish. And that is figured out by looking at their tail, trying to figure out which way they're tailing or if they're rolling like a tarpon or they're swimming and pushing wake finding their face by looking at the wake, the direction it's going, and now, now you know where its face is, where to cast. The second part is you need to lead the fish. You can't throw it at the fish. You have to throw it beyond the fish and in front of the fish. I think about like a, a two foot by two foot area, two foot beyond and two, front, two feet in front. That way your lure will go past or your bait or fly will go past the fish's face. Just like in a natural situation, the prey is going to be swimming away from the predator. I want to make that same presentation to create that reaction bite. So you can't lead them too far because then that fish might change its direction. So you have to be in front of them, but close enough where they see it and they react, but yet far enough where you're not spooking them. That's something you're going to have to work on with practice. But when it comes together and you're sight fishing, you see that fish react. Oh, so good. It's so awesome. So two things, figure out the direction they're going and then lead that fish by throwing beyond them and in front of them so it goes in front of the fish and they go after it and they eat it. Oh my goodness, sight fishing is so much fun. Get out there and give it a shot.
Come on. Come up and eat it. He must have spooked, but that didn't. I didn't hit him. I threw it right because he just turned. Well, that was the cast we needed, brother. I, I think he'll come back up. Let's wait a second. Right there. Right there. See him? See him? You got time now. You want me to put it on that? Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Here, 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 here. He's on. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, brother. This is that bonus fish. I don't know how big he is, but... Oh, brother, that's going to go up there, my friend. Hanging out with my boy, Ryan Clays, Charlotte Harvard, sight fishing cobia after tarpon fishing? Bro. You didn't tell me I needed a gas. <laughs> Every time that line switches where the tail hits it. Look at that fish. <laughs> Middle of the day, slicked off like that. You can see him, you know? All right. Stud, Cobia. There you go. Grab him. Nice. Well done, dude. <laughs> nice. Yes, Look at that. Sir. Look at that fish. Yeah, dude. What? What a cobia. Gorgeous. And sight fished it. Sight fished Yep. That makes it all oh, better. Yeah. What a day, my friend. Gorgeous. Fish. What Aren't they a awesome? Day. Look at how wide he is. Absolutely. You get these spikes right here. Sharpest razor. Got to be they they, they fold down when they're like this, but they'll they'll pop up and if they get you they'll yeah. you gotta be real careful yes, sir. yeah big fish what a great fish you know we don't keep fish very often and i don't get many opportunities to catch a nice kobe like this yeah what do you say we bring this one home for yeah. dinner i'm fine with that feed the families congratulations Thanks, it's a great man. fish great fish want to grab that yeah. ice box for me you got it see ya on the ice bath good job what a day brother great what day. A day great day Thanks for the time, the opportunity. You're very welcome. I went two for two on tarpon, one for one on cobia. Oh, brother. It's hard to beat. Hard to beat. Yeah. Gotta love fall time. Yeah, dude. The Captain's Log with Captain Jonathan Moss, presented by Florida Fishing Products, is sponsored in part by these fine companies. And now, the Conservation Challenge with Captain Jonathan Moss. I love a great blackened fish sandwich. It's one of my favorite meals, one of my favorite things to do with my family is come home with fresh fish and have a great meal together. But when we do that, we always make sure that we are being conservative, we're being uh, good stewards of our area by limiting how much we keep. You know, when you think about trying to be more uh, conservation minded. One of the things that we can do, it's a really easy thing, is only bring home what you can eat fresh for dinner. I have found so many times in my past growing up where we'd, we'd go and have a sleigh fest, 
we bring home this fish and we couldn't eat them all at one time. And sometimes those fish end up getting freezer burned and going bad. So next time you're out, keep that in consideration. Think about what can I eat tonight? What could I share with my family tonight? And think about the next generations to come. Eat it. Eat it. Here you go. Oh, oh, oh. oh. There's a triple tail. Huge triple tail. Oh my God. Hang on, hang on. Huge triple tail. He's got it. Yeah, I know, but I gotta let him eat it. He's just holding it. He's just holding it. <laughs> Bro, you got a net? I, I know. He let go of he it. He let go of the thing. Oh. oh, he came back and ate it. Yep, yep. You got him. You got him. Come tight. No, he didn't eat it yet. He ate it, brother. He ate it. <laughs> I told you he ate it. <laughs> you know, here we are, done. And we, you, there's a triple tail. Oh my we goodness. We thought it was another Kobe. I don't know how this, I don't know how good we got him on the tarpon rod, but. That leader's gonna be all frayed up. <laughs> yeah, it's okay though. He's not big enough to break it, but I'm worried about that big hook. We thought it was another big Kobe. <laughs> another big Kobe. And it's, oh, look at the way, you just see way. him like waking away. I'm just made a cask because the water's so dark, you can't tell what it is. And it's a big, big triple tail. Triple tail. <laughs> On the tarpon rod. Bro, you know, I said the, the cobia was the cherry on top. This is the cherry on the cherry, brother. This is funny. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Man. Dude, look at that triple tail. Wow. We thought the cobia was a bonus. We That's thought the cobia was a bonus. Look at that, brother. Gorgeous. What a great, great fish. You may have caught the cobia, <laughs> but if there's one fish that tastes better than cobia, it's triple it's tail. It's a triple tail. This one's going to hey, come home with me. Hey, that's a fair trade, brother. All right, that good. <laughs> I got the ice box for you. <laughs> Go for it. Perfect. Beautiful. All right, homie. Let's get out of here. Now we really got to go home, <laughs> don't we? You're not going to let me catch another target. No, now. we're done, brother. Let's get out of here. What a day. Just as Jimmy Buffett sang, I know I don't get there enough, but God knows I surely try. It's a magic kind of medicine that no doctor can prescribe. There's no doubt that for these captains, the tug is the drug. The hard pulls, thrilling soars, and the magnificent eats on the surface are truly the magic kind of medicine they seek. A remedy that comes only from the water. Oh, are you okay? You got, you got the fish? 